Restaurants and bars offering outdoor dining here in San Diego will soon have to deal with new restrictions from the city if they want to make their outdoor options permanent. Our Jason Sloss is live for us in the gas lamp quarter this evening to explain the changes that are on the way. Jason. Hey, Andrew. Well, it was about two years ago that the city first started offering outdoor dining spaces for businesses. Owners say, hey, that's what kept us afloat during the pandemic. We love it. The customers love it. And the city says, well, back then we were pretty flexible with these structures. They were temporary. Now, if you want something permanent, you're going to need to apply for a new permit, which includes more regulation and probably will cost businesses a lot more money. Time is running out on the city of San Diego's emergency ordinance that allowed for outdoor dining operations during the pandemic. The city worked with us very, very well to do this temporary permit, and it was a lifesaver, lifesaver for a lot of us down here. It was, it was fantastic to have it. Daniel Drain owns the Field Irish Pub in the Gas Lamp, one of the hundreds of restaurants and bars that have offered outdoor dining through temporary outdoor business operations permits. But those permits expire next month. If businesses want to continue with their outdoor options, they must now apply for. A new so called spaces as places permit. Chris Larson with the city's development services department says with the new permits comes more regulation and safety requirements. There's um, requirements to um, limit the size of the decks, emergency operations can occur. Um, there's no overhead roof structures allowed, no electrical wiring being allowed to cross the, cross the sidewalk either at grade or in the air. We're expecting um, solar lighting to be utilized. We need plans submitted to the city. Where we'll have um, our engineers review those plans, we'll issue permits, and then we'll have um, inspectors inspect the work as it's done. Larson says the new permits are only for eating and drinking establishments. And out of the 500 businesses with temporary permits, only around 20 have applied for the Spaces as Places permit so far. The deadline is July 13th. Drain says he got in his application right away after already spending thousands of dollars on his structure and modifications. I think it'll be, make it a great difference. It's going to be a permanent basis, so uh, everybody be conforming to the city regulations, which you know we can do. Everybody can do that, and uh, I think it'll be very, very beneficial for everybody down here. I think customers are going to love it. But Peter Morales, who runs Opera Cafe, says he's worried that the city will require him to have a smaller and less sturdy patio. Well, I want to do the right thing, but I, I want to look out for the safety of the customer. I think that's more important than than having a structure that's just a fence and some water barricades. I don't think that's going to be safe for people. The city's intent is not to have um, any platforms that have been built to be torn down and something new built. The hope is that they can um, be permitted as is or be modified. Larson also points out any businesses that apply by the July 13th deadline can continue working under the temporary permit until a new one is processed. In the long run, it's, it's going to be worth it. Now, the new permits need to be renewed every two years. The city says anyone who gets uh, their applications in by the deadline can continue working under the temporary permit until a new one is processed. Also, with businesses in coastal areas, they also need to uh, apply for this new permit. But until the Coastal Commission approves the city's guidelines, uh, they will still have to continue to operate under the temporary permits. Live in the gas lamp, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason, breaking it down for us. Thank you so much.